हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सोनिका कृष्ण एंड लेट एस टॉक अबाउट हेल्थ टूडे बिकॉज आयुर्वेदा बिलीव दैट इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग सम काइंड ऑफ डिजीज टूडे दिस डज नॉट मीन दैट इट यू आर हेल्दी यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक सिग्निफिकेंस यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट वट इज हेल्थ सो I'll just recite a Sanskrit shloka that will tell you that what health is. Arvida conveys this shloka. Sam dosha, sam dhatu, sam agni, mal kriye, prasann atma indriya mana, swast iti vidhiyate. This means sam dosha. We have three three doshas: vata, pitta, and kapha. or the air fire and flame body humors so some dosha means or the three doshas they need to be balanced in complete balance they have to be because these are the bio regulating energies the principles they are going to keep you healthy throughout they are called as dosh dosh is a word in hindi which means which conveys that they are not going to uh, be in equilibrium very easily so they fall out of balance if we are not following the right diet rules the right lifestyle tips for an individual so you have you all the three doshas they have to be balanced so the first one is sam dosha second is sam dhatu dhatus are the tissues of the body so these are seven dhatus rasa rakta mas med asti majja and shukra the first is rasa ras whenever you have a food when it the food is dige- digested well so the first dhatu or the body tissue that is called as ras dhatu ras dhatu is the juice which is formed and this further leads the, to the formation of rakta ras rakta rakta is the blood then comes mass mass is the muscle the entire muscles of a body then is med med is the body fat that comes into being then is asti asti is the bones of the body majja is the bone marrow and shukra is semen in men and ovum in females so all these seven dhatus or the body tissues they have to be in balance to be healthy because finally the essence of all the seven tissues that is known as ojas ojas is your vital energy ojas is your uh, body your innate immunity the natural immunity that you are going to have for keeping away from diseases so the ojas has to be made and then uh, all the seven tissues they have to be balanced some dosha some dhatu third is some agni now what is agni agni is fire so actually it conveys about the gastric fire the gastric fire that you have it should be balanced you should not be having less agni in that case the whatever the food you eat that would not be digested very well and if it works very fast then whatever you eat it will be digested before time before you actually uh, your body gets the entire nutrition and nourishment of the food so uh, it has to be sam dosha sam dhatu sam agni and about agni i also want to convey that there are not the one agni that is the jat, that this is the main agni actually the jathar agni the gastric fire but then this is not the only one you have 13 agnis uh, five agnis come from the panch mahabhur the basic uh, elements because the three doshas they are also made up of these elements only we are made up of these natural elements we are entirely natural beings so uh, the i'll just convey that the akash and vayu akash is the ether and or the sky element and vayu is air so when they uh, they together when there is amalgam of these two elements 
This makes up the air body humor. That is the vata dosha. And then comes the fire element. That is agni. Or tejas you can call it. So this is the third element. Then is jala and prithvi. Fourth and fifth elements. Jala and prithvi uh, or the uh, earth and water elements. They make up the kapha dosha. So uh, they all these five elements they have their own separate agnis, and there is separate agnis of the seven tissues I just told you: rasa, rakta, mas, meda, asti, majja, shukra. All these seven tissues also they have their own agnis. So there are total five plus seven plus one your jatra agni. There are thirteen agnis, and these agnis are very important. to keep you healthy to help you to maintain your wellness so these agnis have to be balanced sam dosha sam dhatu sam agni then comes mal kriya mal is the body waste they have to be moving all the time mal kriya kriya means activity has to be there they have to be uh, moving and detoxified from your body all the time so what are these malas there are three malas which are most important to release from your system one is mootra mootra is the urine formation so you have to be taking good at least 3 liters of water every day so that you can release via the urine output and then second is mootra purish purish is the fecal matter the bowel movement has to be good so that uh, again these uh, toxins or the body waste they are removed from your body and third is sweat sweat is the sweat so how uh, you can be having a good uh, sweat by exercising take up uh, yoga exercises the yoga asanas take to pranayama or you can uh, you know be going for a brisk walk at least for 40 minutes every day this will help you release the good amount of sweat from your body sweat is the uh, body waste in form of sweat so sama dosha sama dhatu sam agni mal kriye this is this makes up the physical body now because ayurveda is a science of life this conveys that if we have to take charge of our you know entity complete entity as a human being it has to be um, taking care of all the three uh, aspects the mind body as well as soul because it works as a tripod and only then we can be healthy so i just told you about the physical aspect till now now prasan atma indriya and mana atma is your soul how would you keep your soul happy it it would be happy if you follow all the you know blissful uh positivities uh, like you have you should be having the power of forgiveness power of uh spreading unconditional love power of uh happiness so these are all you know the food of your soul uh you're going to be happy be content only if you are you uh, have a practice of imbibing all these virtues within you so prasan your soul would be happy when you are able to follow uh, uh, the right contentment and happiness for your soul prasan atma indriya and mana mana is the uh, mind your mind is working all the time but keep a charge keep a track that what kind of thoughts are coming to you so meditation is a big support for that you know if you are uh, sitting in meditation every day you are able to uh take care of the right thoughts the positive thoughts that would enter your system because they are going to impact your body as well also even the yoga therapies they are a big help big support because there is a shloka that yoga chit vritti nirodha so uh uh there so much of uh, uh erratic you know your mind is always working that way but you have to uh, bring your mind in balance in control that is uh, when this uh, you know 
ਥੈਰੇਪੀਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੋਗਾ ਐਂ ਪ੍ਰਾਣਾਯਾਮਾ ਦੇ ਕੰਮ ਹੈ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਬੂਨ ਫੋਰ ਅਸ ਟੂ ਕੀਪ ਆਵਰ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਇਨ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਲਾਸਟ ਵਨ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰਸੰਨ ਆਤਮਾ ਇੰਦਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਮਨ ਸੋ ਇੰਦਰੀ ਵੀ ਲੈਫਟ ਆਊਟ ਇੰਦਰੀ ਆਰ ਦ ਬੋਡੀ ਸੈਂਸਸ ਦ ਫਾਈਵ ਸੈਂਸਸ ਔਰ ਦ ਸੈਂਸ ਆਰਗਨਸ ਸੋ ਦ ਫਾਈਵ ਸੈਂਸਸ ਆਰ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਸਪਰਸ਼ ਰੂਪ ਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਗੰਧ ਸੋ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਇਸ ਦ ਸਾਊਂਡ try to focus on these uh, you know five body senses try to keep them happy try to keep them uh, secure and keep them nourished so shabd is the sound some of the sounds it would be some music you listen to that is very relieving for you that just gives you happiness so try to take that happiness inside then is sparsh after shabd is sparsh sparsh is a touch so, uh, sometimes you are very uh you know relieved with the when you touch the fur of your pet animals or when you are uh, the little babies come to you and you cuddle uh, to the babies or even uh, you're loving your children so uh, this gives you some kind of a blissful uh, feeling and try to keep this emotion with you because this is going to convey happiness and contentment to you so shabd sparsh roop is uh the sight some sights are very uh, positive very relieving like when you uh, go out in nature when you look at the flowers they are blooming very nice and colorful flowers and then you look at the sunset or you look at the stars and the moon or whatever what kind of sight it could be a natural scene whatever the sight that is relieving that is that gives you happiness and contentment please try to be there not only physically it is mentally as well as spiritually you have to be so try to uh, imbibe the happiness the contentment you are getting this is needed to keep you healthy and then shabd sparsh roop ras is the taste so there are six tastes and uh, that we take in every day uh, uh, i have explained it in my other videos also uh, these tastes are madhur amla lavan tik kattu an kashaya madhur the sweet then sour then salty pungent bitter and astringent some taste would be good for you according to your own uh, basic tendency of the dosha that you inherit but then um, there are some taste that are so relieving to you so if you are really like Uh, the taste and for whatever the time you're having the uh, you know uh, feeling of that taste try to be uh, take it, imbibe it within within your yourself basically because this is giving you happiness and nourishment as well as contentment so shabd sparsh roop ras and the fifth one is gandh gandh is the aroma the the uh, fragrance so any kind of aroma could just touch you it it could not be same for each one of us so some would be you know happy with the uh, aroma from the rose flower some would be happy with the uh, when you water the earth and the uh, aroma or suddenly the uh, the fragrance that just emerges so sometimes you drown into that that uh, is a big support and a boon for you or it could be lavender lavender uh, you know incense tree or it can be anything but whatever it is whatever you can actually feel and uh, even it could be uh, make you make you to close your eyes but then try to leave that moment that is so needed so that you can imbibe health imbibe happiness and you know uh, the abundance of human birth within yourself within your being so i just share the definition of health with you i'll just repeat it once the sanskrit chaloka samadosha samadhatu samagni malakriye prasann atma indriya mana swasth itti vidyate so only that person would be considered as a healthy completely healthy healthy individual if you're having all these you know parameters of health so are with the uh, conveys to you blissful uh, you know uh, 
science of life of living each and every moment and then understanding uh, your health your physical mental as well as spiritual entity as a complete human being and then you can be completely healthy not only today but for your life for your lifetime so thank you friends i'm glad you are uh, watching my videos if you like my videos please subscribe to my youtube channel if you like you can visit me at my website that is www dot doctor sonika krishan dot com if you want you write an email to me at sonika krishan at gmail dot com thank you friends.